Welcome Pre-K friends. Today we are excited that you will be joining us for an English language arts lesson. Our I can statement for today's lesson is, I can name letters in alphabetic order. This is a reading foundational skill. To help us learn about alphabetic order today, we will read Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, written by Bill Martin Jr. and John Arkenbalt, and illustrated by Lois Ellert. Hello Pre-K friends, thanks for joining me today. It's Mrs. Smith from the Office of Early Childhood Programs. Before we begin our lesson today with Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, we're going to start with our Brain Smart Start. As you remember, our Brain Smart Start consists of four components, an activity to unite, an activity to disengage stress, an activity to connect, and we end with an activity to commit to our learning. We'll start with our activity to unite, as we've been doing the past couple weeks, our song, Hello Friends. If you want, you can wave like this, or you may choose to wave like this as we sing. Let's begin. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, we're so glad you're here. Let's sing together one more time. Ready? Begin. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, we're so glad you're here. For our activity to disengage stress today, we're going to do drain breath. To do drain breath, you'll take your arms and clench your fists as you inhale up and you'll let your water go down the drain as you exhale just like this. We are going to do our breath three times. Let's begin. Okay, for our activity to connect today, we're going to do an I love you ritual called Round the Garden. I have my little bunny friend here today to help me to demonstrate and model this I love you ritual with you and your family. If you like, you can find a family member, a grown up, a friend, a sibling, a cousin, anyone in your house to do this I love you ritual with. What you'll do is you'll take your partner's hand and hold it just like this. And the rhyme goes like this. Round the garden like a little teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you right there. And you tickle your family member right on their neck, um, just like that. So let's sing it together or say it together one more time. Ready, begin. Round the garden like a little teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you right there. You could also do this on somebody's foot as well and tickle their foot. Round the garden like a little teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle you right there. The last component of our Brain Smart Start today is our activity to commit. And my commitment today for our learning is to pay close attention to the illustrations of our book using my eyes. I'm gonna use my looking eyes um, to look at the illustrations to help me to make sense of the story. So I'm so glad you're here to join me today. Let's get ready to read our story, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Let's get ready to learn. Before we begin reading our story, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom today, I have a few questions I would like to ask you. Take a close look at the cover of our book. There is a special kind of tree on the front cover. Do you know what kind of tree this is? I also have a model of it sitting right here next to me. Take a guess, what kind of tree do you think this might be? If you guessed a coconut tree, you are correct. We usually see coconut trees growing along the sandy shores of tropical beaches, and they produce one of the most delicious fruits in my mind, a coconut. I love the sweet, delicious fruit of a coconut especially when it's covered in chocolate. During our story today, the setting will take place at a coconut tree. 
And the main characters of our story today are the letters of the alphabet. The letter A, seen right here, is one of the first characters that you will meet in the story Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Letter A is going to challenge all of the other letters of the alphabet to climb up the coconut tree. Have you ever climbed a tree before? I love climbing trees. It's so much fun. Well, I hope you enjoy our story, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. After we read our story, we'll come back together to do some activities to make some connections to our story, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, written by Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault. Illustrated by Lois Ellert. A told B and B told C. I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. Wee, said D to EFG. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. And I and J and tag along K all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Look who's coming. L, M, N, O, P. And Q, R, S. And T U V. Still more W and X Y Z. The whole alphabet up the. Oh no! Chicka chicka boom boom. Skit scat scoodle doot flip flop flee. Everybody running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears, then dust their pants. Help us up, cried ABC. Next from the pile up, skinned knee D and stub toe E and patched up F. Then comes G all out of breath. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted. Alley oop. Skit, scat, scoodle, doot, flip, flop, flee. Look who's coming. It's Black Eyed P, Q R S, and Loose Tooth T. Then U V W, Wiggle Jiggle Free. Last to come, X Y Z. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, look. There's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. The end. I hope you enjoyed our read aloud of Chicka, Chicka, Boom, Boom. Written by Bill Martin Jr. and John Arkenbach. Illustrated by Lois Ellert. Stay tuned for more activities connecting us to Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. I hope you enjoyed listening to our story, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. It's one of my favorite stories to read aloud. Now that you had the opportunity to listen to the story, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, let's take a few moments to talk about our story. As we were reading our story, I noticed something about how the letters climbed up the tree. And I'm wondering if you noticed the same thing that I did. Let's take a moment and revisit our text by looking at the illustrations. 
If we look at the first two pages of our story, we can see that letters A, B, and C were the first letters to climb up the coconut tree. A, B, C. Hmm, when I say that, it kind of reminds me of when we sing the alphabet song. Can you sing the alphabet song with me? Let's begin. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I never will forget how to say the alphabet. Thanks for helping me to sing. But did you notice as we sang the song, we sang these first three letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, and we sang the letters in a certain sequence. When we sequence the letters in order, that means that we're saying the letters in alphabetical order. Can you help me say the letter names in our story as we look through the illustrations? That would be super helpful. Let's begin. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. We did it. We said the letters of the alphabet in order and we know now that the letters in our story climbed up the coconut tree in alphabetical order. Hmm, as I look at this illustration here, do you notice anything about the tree? I noticed that too as we were reading the story. I noticed that the tree began to bend and curve as all the letters climbed up the tree. I think the top of the tree was not strong enough to hold all of the letters of the alphabet. Do you remember what happened next after all the letters climbed up the tree? That's right, they all fell down out of the tree. Once the letters fell out of the tree, hmm, are they still in alphabetical order? No, sadly they're not. The, the letters all fell out of order. But as we look at our illustrations, and we see that the mamas and the papas, which are the uppercase letters, came to help the lowercase letters. They helped them to get back in order. And as we look at our book, we can see that letters A, B, and C were the first letters to line up. And as we go through the book, the rest of the letters follow in line. They get in line in order. So, do you think you could help me to put some of our letters of the alphabet in order on my coconut tree? All right, let's do it. So we've talked about the first couple letters of the alphabet. What is the very first letter of the alphabet that climbed to the top of the coconut tree and is always the first letter that we say when we sing or say the alphabet? That's right, it is letter A. Letter A is the first letter of the alphabet. Now take a moment to think, what letter comes after A? If you guessed B, you are correct. B comes next. Let's look. A, B, hmm, what comes next? If you said letter C, give your brain a kiss. Letter C comes next in this alphabet sequence. Let's say our letter names. A, B, C, hmm, what comes next? That's right, letter D is the next letter in the alphabet. Let's say our letter names again, help me. A, B, C, D, what comes next? If you said E, you did it. Way to go. All right, let's say our letter names together. A, B, C, D, E, 
Hmm, what comes next? You got it, letter F is the next letter in our sequence. Do you think you can help me do one more letter? All right, let's say our letter names. A, B, C, D, E, F. What comes next? Letter G, way to go. Letter G was next in the sequence. So, in your pre-K print pathway packet, there are some activities for you to practice sequencing letters at home in alphabetical order. And in the next couple slides, we'll talk about an activity that you can do at home to create your own Chicka Chicka Boom Boom tree and to retell the story at home. All right, enjoy the next couple of slides. To continue having fun with the story Chicka Chicka Boom Boom at home and to continue practicing alphabet order, we have a fun enrichment activity for you to do. With the help of an adult, find a safe place at home to cut out the alphabet cards from the pre-K print pathway packet and sequence the letters in alphabetic order. Next, make a coconut tree out of an empty paper towel or toilet paper roll and green paper. The toilet paper roll represents the trunk of the tree. I used a brown crayon to color it. And then I used green paper to add leaves to the top of my coconut tree. Using the alphabet cards you cut apart, retell the story Chicka Chicka Boom Boom to sequence the letters in alphabetic order. As you use the letters to retell the story and you have them climb the tree, recite Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes and pick the letter to climb up the coconut tree. Have fun. Until next time, we wish you well, we wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well.